Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late night mega here. That's the last time I'm gonna get to use that intro. At least in this let's play. Alright, we got it. Okay, this is not how I want to be starting a video. Alright, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Shoot it. Be dead, please. Oh, come on. Oh, seriously. Oh my gosh. That was amazingly awful. I'm gonna have to use a healing item after that. Alright, we need to come down here and get the uh, fuse from the door that I have missed twice. And because I didn't grab it on those other two occasions in the last video, it's, well, you can see the uh, issues it just caused. Lost tons of ammo and a healing item. But yeah, there's our fuse. Right there, where we left it. Well, now that we have the fuse, now we can go in the elevator. And we can fix the elevator with that. And yeah, I'm gonna combine and make another first aid med there. You can't make machine gun ammo with uh, chem fluids, so no need to do that. And since we got the fuse, I'm going to stop back here and drop a save before heading down to the basement. Also, we're going to drop off the ancient coin and the strong chem fluid. We don't need those. I should be okay, though, as far as ammo and healing goes. Okay, this, this is post-commentary me talking. I know we're going to be okay with what we have. Yeah, those four-legged guys, they can be really tough to take down. Especially when we don't have access to things like our shotgun. You can use remote bombs on them, too, which... Those are kind of tricky to get set up and everything before, you know, the four-legged molded start pouncing on you. Because they are fast. Alright, but now we are on floor S2. He's waiting. And this is, uh, this is more just kind of like a straightforward gauntlet style area and I like the music here it it really kind of sets the uh, mood for that now the reason I'm going to go kind of slowly is because I know there's gonna be moldeds appearing in front of me and behind me oh you can see him crawling up there I see him crawling up there now what the game initially intends you to do is to press forward and like, either in that midsection or around the corner far up ahead, there'll be another molded. And then after so long, that guy's going to drop down. And then you'll be kind of pinched between two moldeds. And it, it can become a not-so-great situation. So yeah, I wanted to avoid that. So we triggered that top guy, and then we just backed off. Now I think... Okay, if he's not here, he's going to be around that corner. I'm going to go up and trigger him first before getting that crate. Yeah, there he is. Once again, typical strategy with the machine gun and this Mia section. Just uh, keep shooting him and back up as you do that. Ooh, strong chem fluid. Very nice. But yeah, the whole backing up strategy doesn't work too well when an enemy is dropping down behind you. Alright, uh, remote bomb, that's nice. Always appreciate those. I am liking the music in this section. I know I've already mentioned that, but it's still true. Handgun ammo. We're... I don't think we're really going to use the handgun ammo unless we're getting desperate. Or I push a wrong button or something. 
Uh, oh, four-legged piece of crap. Uh, let's get a remote bomb. Oh, he wasn't close enough, and now I'm on the handgun. Shoot him down, shoot him down. Ooh. Oh, we got him just in time. Yeah, it did not mean to switch to the handgun there. <laughs> but I guess it all worked out okay. We didn't... I mean, we did waste a remote bomb, but this game gives us plenty of those. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm just glad we didn't end up using health. More ammo. Lots of goodies in this room, and yes, I do see the remote bombs there. Just wanted to uh, just glance around, check around, make sure we're not missing anything. I will give you guys a spoiler somewhere. I Somewhere I missed an ancient coin. And I'm also going to miss three of the bobbleheads. I told you I might not find everything. But find more than enough to get us through normal mode. Oh, there's another remote bomb sitting there. Make sure you grab that. And once again, we're going through this area. This is technically the third time we're going through this area. Because remember in our uh, VHS tape... We went through here as Mia, and then we came back through here, and there were different different enemy spawns, so I'm not... I haven't fully memorized all the enemy spawns here, so that's why I'm taking things slowly. Because I don't know where exactly the enemy spawns... the enemies are going to spawn in. Although, in this case, it ends up being once we go down and around and, and up the stairs again. I keep thinking there might be enemies along the way. Our music has gone kind of quiet. Oh! Yeah, there he is on the stairs. You know what? We'll fix you. There we go. Figured we'd use some of those, because we have a ton of them. That is one thing I like about the... Oh gosh, fat molded! Oh, I... Forgot about the other fat molded there. Uh, let's blow him up. You're dead, right? He's dead. And they do explode, and that explosion can damage you, as you saw it damage the box. Oh, first aid med. Okay. Uh, okay, now I'm going to start conserving my remote bombs, because I don't know... Or I should say, I don't remember how many other fat moldeds we're going to fight. Okay, post-commentary me knows, but past gameplay me, me here doesn't know, and he's the one we're, that's kind of in control right now. I'm just in control of the commentary. And we have another corrosive spot here. Oh, this will get us more remote bombs. All these things tend to have... or, or an antique coin. Okay, I guess that's a thing we can get to. Mia, you're making noises that I don't like. Alright, we'll come in this way. Look for items, items, items. Can I close the door? No, I can't close the door. Okay, so if something spawns out there, it can come after me. Oh, here's Corrosive. Okay, this must be more remote bonds. Yes! Remote Bomb's probably... probably my second favorite weapon in the game. You guys know what my favorite is, and... third favorite, probably enhanced handgun ammo. Ethan! Ethan. Okay, now we're going to get a really weird cutscene, although it's kind of nice for the plot, but I, I still don't understand how this cutscene is happening or, or where exactly everybody is here. I would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas. Or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? 
She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. Well, that kind of she does just... sum it up. She forces a way into your mind, your soul. Yeah, you can, you're free to look around here, but you can't actually, like, get up or do anything. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, uh, the girl just wants a family of her own. And she's going about it all the wrong ways. She's the key. All right? You find her, and you stop her. Ethan. I do like this scene overall, though, even though Free my family. I can't fully make sense as to how Ethan is Please. seeing this and how this interaction is happening, but it's it creates kind of a nice, somber closure to the Baker family and, and their perspective in all of this. Because now it's all about Evelyn. I can make him love me. Don't, don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not going to hurt him. I'm not sure why Evelyn chooses don't not to so kill what? us. <laughs> or kill Ethan, I should say. You're not my mom. Remember? Well, it's not like you were listening to Mia when she was. No. Oh. Hi, Mia. Now, here's where one of the differences takes place in uh, if you chose Zoe to save Zoe instead of Mia. If you chose to save Zoe, you would have to fight Mia here. Although, don't get excited. It's not really... It's not really an exciting battle. It's basically just a copy of the going? first Take battle we had with Mia where we used the axe on her and she had, go. like, a sharp pick. We have, like, slightly different items, but it all functions the same. No. Same. No, but kill that little bitch. No. No. But yeah, that's what would happen before you actually exit the tanker here. Instead, since we picked Mia, we get that scene... But wasn't that Evelyn standing right behind me? Well, we don't have any items, but uh, she gave us... Okay, you little bitch. What the fuck? She gave us the uh, Evelyn sample tissue, that E001. It must be some sort of a key. Oh, what is... It sounds like something's forming. Oh, that's forming. It's all your fault. Well, I'm going to make it my fault. Uh, but yeah, right now, since, well, we have no items, we have no danger either. So don't worry about that. If you're playing Madhouse mode, I don't know if there's going to be danger here. I would imagine there might be because it's, you know, Madhouse mode, so you might have to run from something. But here on normal mode, no. You'll be fine. Oh, a copter. Yeah, there it is. So we'll just make our way through here. And, uh, you dead fish. Okay, let's just keep moving. We don't need to take... Okay, we are going to take a bath with all these dead fish. I don't know if that makes us clean or not. But anyways, we come up here. And we get, ooh, enhanced handgun ammo. You don't find a whole lot of that laying around. And you get uh, some journals. Uh, 
Don't worry if I went a little fast on that. So, we're at the salt mine. Yep, the salt mine is going to be the next main area. It'll be the fifth main area. I guess sixth if you want to count the guest house. Yeah, we can count the guest house because that was part of the game. Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? Ooh, we're eavesdropping. The Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Yeah, there was Evelyn? definitely evidence Negative. of that. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. Ooh, machine gun ammo. Is in the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. And there's a general map. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Understood. Okay, now, this is a save room. So we open up our inventory crate. We get all of the access to all of the stuff Evelyn, or all the stuff Mia had, and all of the stuff that uh, Ethan previously had. So we're going to use the survival knife. That'll be one of the things we use there. You're also going to get ammo for all your different weapons. Now, personally, I recommend having remote bombs. We're going to want a handgun. Preferably our strongest handgun. Well, we're not using the Albert handgun, because that would be the strongest, but the strongest that we could find in the game, which is that broken handgun we fixed. Make sure we grab the right shotgun that holds two shotgun shells. And, you know, when I played through this before, I did take the grenade launcher with me, but I don't think we're going to need it. And I ended up not using the Magnum, because I didn't really know what the final boss was. And by the time I did, we didn't need the Magnum. More on that a little bit later. But uh, we are going to take the Magnum with us. We don't even have the Magnum yet, so that's kind of a problem. I'm going to organize my ammo so I have it all in the nice vertical columns there. And we want... Uh, oh, we have a lot of healing items. I'm going to take... Uh, yeah. That should be good. And I'm going to, yeah, let's let's use all this strong chem flu that we've been saving for the whole game. And we'll get some gunpowder out here. And let's start combining and making enhanced handgun ammo. So there's 10, there's 20, 30, 40, 40. Okay, we have a silly amount of, well, let's get some more because I don't really care to use it for anything else. All right. It's like we're gearing up for a war or something. Yeah, this next section functions... Well, it functions differently than the other sections that we've done. There's not really any puzzles to it. There's not really, like, main item... Well, there is a main item to collect, but you is basically going to be given to you. You don't have to go, like, searching around for it. But it's basically going to be a gauntlet against molded enemies. So, yeah, you want to come very armed. Just ammo, weapons, healing items, that's what you need. And we have just enough antique coins to get the magnum here, so let's go ahead and do that. And we have to put the coins in one at a time. That's the only thing that kind of annoys me about this. And I did say I I missed one antique coin somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Okay, we have the Magnum now. Uh, we want to save that as like a boss killer type of weapon because magnum ammo as you can tell has been is very scarce in the resident evil games but magnums do a ton of damage but they also aim and control much like a handgun so speaking of our handgun uh... okay so okay basic ammo is not actually taking up a another spot in the inventory that's fine and i think i have 
Okay, we, do, we don't need that much enhanced handgun ammo. We probably don't even need... No, that seems like a mistake. And I'm gonna have the knife on... not on one of the main things, because I want to... I'm not gonna use the knife for combat, so I can just go into my inventory and switch the knife in when I need to open a crate, but I'm not going to be using it during the combat stuff. Alright, so if we explore outside here, we're gonna find a ton of items. And I'll give you guys a little preview of this next section. Although, with all the shotgun ammo that we currently have, we'll be getting more, too. We could probably just go solo with the shotgun. But I'm going to vary it up a little bit. Ooh, there's a uh, bobblehead, and there's magnum ammo. One bullet, but still. No, oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I actually have to, you have to, you actually have to move it up into your four main slots, and then we'll move it back. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. That's okay. And I can't decide which thing I want to have first. Yeah, there's chem fluid. There's gonna be strong chem fluid, I believe. No, oh, yep, there it is. And do I even need this stuff right now? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back and drop that off real quick. Cause I do want the oh burner fuel. Told you we'd be getting ammo for like all of our weapons. And through this next section, I will be very selective as to the items I pick up. As you can see, I'm not leaving myself a lot of inventory space, because all I care about for the rest of the game is ammo for either my shotgun or enhanced handgun ammo, which I don't know if we're going to get any more of that, or healing items, and remote bombs, so and magnum ammo. Yeah, look at this. We have a whole bunch of moldeds. There's three already, and there's two down. I love this shotgun! Alright, let's uh, vary it up. Mistakes were made. How am I missing him that much? Oh gosh, and I have to reload. Okay, fine. Shotgun. That's what I should've just done to begin with. Okay. Weapons are all reloaded before pressing on ahead. You want to make sure you do that. Because our weapons don't carry a lot. Now... I believe we're going to have more friends coming. Yeah, there's a molded there. He's walking around. Oh, and there's another one. Yeah, see, we've already been swarmed by like five moldeds at this point. Oh, you're coming this way. Okay. Yeah, see, two good headshots and you can take them out with enhanced handgun ammo. Yeah, I love enhanced handgun ammo. Uh, I might go back and make more of that before going down here. Well, let's pick up items, or at least show where the items are, which I still think I might end up missing one or two out here. Because my first time playing this game, I'm not going to pick up machine gun ammo because we're not using the machine gun. Although the machine gun wouldn't be a terrible choice here. You'll get plenty of ammo for it. Oh, strong chem fluid. I will pick that up. You will get plenty of ammo for the machine gun. It's just I don't like how much ammo that it uses, but it can be useful in those situations where you're getting swarmed by, like, two or three enemies at once, and you need to either just unload on them and not worry as much about aiming, or you need to, like, keep them, get them stunned because they're getting close to you. And the machine gun is pretty good at, at getting them stunned. As long as you're hitting them, it doesn't even necessarily matter where. So I can see some use for the machine gun in this area, but I I don't prefer it. I prefer just killing the enemies before they get close to us. And more chem fluid. All right, well, we can combine this chem fluid with this herb. And... Yeah. So we still have a slot open. And we're going to go down in this elevator next time.